So welcome to Aaron and Liz here at Simon Says Farms. We stream live on YouTube 24 hours a day on two cams in this barn. And we have a family farm with families running around all over the place. And for the next couple minutes, Liz is, and Olivia are going to teach you how to milk a goat. After you've gone through the hard part of getting your goat bread and the baby has been delivered and the baby is now old enough where it went home to a new home or you've weaned it in a different pen, you are ready to milk your goat. Now Olivia, she's five and she's been milking for about a year and as you can see she is two-handed this year. Oops. Go ahead, you're fine. Sometimes your goat lose patience, loses its patience. Um, can you take over since yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... gonna take, take the oh, back. thank you, Quinn. Thank you, Quinn. Come All right. on, you. So, before you get started, if your goat is <clears throat> not, does not have a child, a baby, that it's feeding, um, you're gonna make sure that the udder and the teats are nice and clean. You can even wipe them down with a teat wipe, a pre-wipe. If, uh, you know, she's particularly hairy, she might have some dust, some poo, um, some dirt left over and tangled in the hair. You don't want that falling in your milk, of course. Um, she actually is nice and short, so she doesn't have issues with hair falling down into the milk and, and contaminating it. Um, then you're gonna get your milk bucket and start milking. How do you milk though? At the very base of her teeth, you are going to make like a pinched okay sign. So it's gonna be like, I'm gonna pinch the top of the teat and then I'm gonna squeeze the milk down while maintaining this closure at the top so the milk doesn't go right back up into the udder. Um, so I'll demonstrate here. I have my thumb and my index finger. I'm going to pinch that off. It traps the milk in the teat and then I'm gonna pinch it out. Now she's empty, so the stream isn't that, um, that strong right now, but that's all you do. You pinch, making like an okay sign, and then you roll your fingers down like that while maintaining the closure. And then you do this until you don't feel milk coming out anymore. And then even when you think she's done, you bump the bag just like the baby goat would. And that's what I'm doing here. It might look a little forceful, but if you've ever seen an eight week old goat kid do it, knocks her feet right off of the ground. So I'm actually pretty gentle compared to her kids. Um, after we're done this and she doesn't have any more milk, we are going to teat dip her teats and that's going to be with, thank you my lovely assistant, that's going to be with an iodine foaming solution. Let's just squeeze that, right? And then we're going to um, go up and under and cover the whole teat all the way up to the base of her udder. Um, if she has some like congestion, edema, if she's like really engorged and she just needs some help, we also have Tyler up there on the top shelf. Looks like black and white with green. It's called Dynamint and it is a goat udder. And it is dusty because we haven't used it since last season. Um, and I try not to use this, but it's very beneficial for somebody like Amy who holds a lot of um, yep. congestion congestion in her udder. It's a mint udder cream. So literally it's got peppermint essential oils and it helps draw, um, soften the udder. And it's also really good for their skin, especially if you've got like a really heavy um, nurser. So somebody, sometimes you'll get some chapness on the teat. Um, I guess if you were to machine milk, you'd get that chapness too, but because we hand milk, um, we're not going to abrase the skin at all. So that's really it. Um, once you get your hands really get going, you might need some workouts, right? You get tough, tough muscles, right? You got to work them up. So, but milking your goat should only take about five minutes once you get the hang of it. But I do remember my first goat. This is not all of it. We already dumped some of it out. So I where do you put it I remember milking next? Sadie for the first time, and it took me 45 minutes to get, like, two cups of milk. And I was proud of myself. So now you dump the milk into this holding container. 
and then move on. Let me turn the camera around. Um, yeah. I'm talking to the back of the camera. Hi there. See, remember, no edits. One take wonders. Um, so you she'll take. She'll take. Okay, we're going to T tip. Um, you gotta open up, girlfriend. So it's already foamed. It's One, there. Two. Yep. And why do we do that? That is going to seal off the orifice, the hole opening. Yeah. So that bacteria, it's gonna kill all that, the germs and bacteria that could have gotten up there during the milking process. And then maintain that barrier once we're ready to milk again. So we we'll, not, hold on. Oh, she not, there see a, this is the no edit Yeah, part. sorry. There was a couple questions I got from, not really first time goat owners, cause she did this before, but not with her own goat. Um, she has kids do, actually one of her goats is due today. And she asked, well, do I have to wipe down or do any of any of this if I've got a kid can go nursing on the mom? And the answer to that is no. You let the mom, other than stripping the teat right after the baby is born, she has like a wax plug that, um, you know, is very beneficial to not getting, there she goes. Mm -hmm. um, He's got her. No, Never she mind. Knows it's beneficial to, um, at birth to before birth to keep that udder sealed, right? Um, so we strip the teat right after birth and then the baby can eat colostrum. But after that, the goat doesn't eat anything. You know, we check to make sure that she's not engorged, baby's eating enough. If mom's making too much, we do milk. But while the baby is on mom, we don't use a teat wipe, we don't use the teat dip, and I don't use this mint oil uh, cream, use? nothing. I try not to use anything because it's gonna go in baby's mouth. Good question. So that ends this video. So if you're still here, please hit subscribe, thumbs up, hang out. If this you're mine. here on the live, you could just stick around, right? Yeah, um, yes, that's your eyes. coffee. Um, yeah, and, but we're gonna um, clip it out and do like a, yeah, we're gonna a clip, how to. Clip this no. section out and save it for people that need to learn how to milk a goat. Right. That's it. So and any of the supplies that you saw, check the links in the description below. They're there if you need them. Well, they will be there. They, Not for the live people. I know, live people, you're <laughs> behind the scenes. You're like, just a, don't pay attention to what I'm saying, basically. Um, but yeah, new people, don't forget to hit thumbs up, subscribe, follow the channel for notifications and announcements and we've got a cool little feature coming yeah um that we will announce on facebook yeah that's it follow us there as well so thanks for watching bye 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 three two one